Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah McFall of MyMerryMessyLife.com and today we're gonna to make a natural non-toxic dishwashing soap recipe that's easy to make at home and totally safe for the whole family. So this recipe comes from my book, Detox Your Home, which you can find on Amazon. And you just type in Detox Your Home and it will pop up. It's also gonna be in the video description below. And you're gonna find more than 80 recipes to help you go non-toxic and natural in your home to make your home a safe environment for you, your loved ones, your pets, everyone. It's also gonna be eco-friendly and safe for the environment, which is a really nice plus. So why make your own natural dishwashing soap detergent anyway. What's wrong with the ones you buy in the store like Dawn, Palmolive, Dial, Ivory? Well, they contain many toxins and a few of the ones we're gonna talk about today include surfactants and artificial fragrances. So the surfactants that you're gonna find in these dishwashing detergents are very, very harsh, not only on your skin, but they're also toxic to aquatic life. And what's happening is these chemicals are going down your drain and the sewage processing facilities that we have are not able to filter out all of the toxins that are coming down our drains and off our yard runoff anymore. You know, you've got the Roundup, the fertilizer outside that we're using in our yards, and all of these things are getting into our water system. And the processing facilities are not able to effectively remove all of the toxins anymore. So we are getting these chemicals back into our water and we're ingesting them. So this is sort of helping the greater good, helping the planet um, help those animals because these surfactants are getting down into the lakes and rivers and ponds that you're going to see these cute little ducks and geese and turtles and fish and all kinds of aquatic life and they're harming the the water quality for these animals. So this is going to help the environment and it's got also going to help keep our water cleaner. So if everyone starts to use more natural, non-toxic dishwashing soaps, dishwasher detergents, laundry soaps, hand soaps, everything that I'm sharing with you in my videos and on my blog, we're gonna have a safer, cleaner, healthier planet for all involved. And I know I'm really passionate about that. So another chemical you wanna stay away from, which are in absolutely everything these days, are artificial fragrances. And those are a class of 3,000 chemicals, many of which can be very toxic, and even some are carcinogenic. And you have no way of knowing, because all it says on the back is artificial fragrances, parfum, perfume, um, and you don't know which of those chemicals you're getting. The molecules of artificial fragrances are bound together by small plastic particles called phthalates. It starts with a pH. Um, and these phthalates are what make the artificial fragrance have a scent. However, those artificial fragrances, you're literally breathing into your system. You're getting those small, small particles of plastic into your respiratory system. And it's also going to get onto your dishes, get back into the environment. They're not safe for animals or people. And many of these artificial fragrances also contain formaldehyde which as we know is a chemical used to embalm the dead. It is a preservative. It is very toxic. It is considered a carcinogen, yet it is in so many, so many personal care products, cleaners, all these things, don't get me started. <laughs> okay, so now that we know that making your own is a great idea, let's make it. You can find this recipe on page 19 of my book, Detox Your Home, which again, you can get on Amazon. So to make our dishwashing soap, you need, for 24 ounces, you need two cups of warm water, a tablespoon of kosher salt, and it must be kosher. You can add some moisturizing oils like olive oil, a tablespoon of that, a cup of Dr. Bronner's sal suds, and some lemon juice, a couple of tablespoons of that, and essential oils. But these two things are optional. These three things are actually optional. At the heart of it, you need the water, the salt, and the sal suds. So, I'm going to fill this up halfway. Now this is a 16 ounce jar. So you can grab these waterproof vinyl labels in my Etsy shop, which I'll link in the description box below. They, again, they are waterproof, they are vinyl, and they have the entire recipe printed on them. So when you go to refill the bottle, you will not have to remember where you found the recipe, which blog, which book, which website, like, oh my gosh, where did I put that recipe? You'll just be able to Look at your recipe on the bottle and make it from that. It makes your life a whole lot simpler. I know because I've been doing this for years and that's why I created my own labels. They've been helping me. So I put about half of a cup of water in here and now we're gonna add 
our kosher salt. Now this is what is going to thicken up the soap so that you don't have a watery dishwashing soap. Nobody wants watery dishwashing soap. It's super annoying to use and I just spilled some salt. <laughs> no worries though, you can make a mess. Doesn't matter, it's easy to clean up. These recipes, you don't have to be super exact with them. I didn't fill it up all the way, so that's why I'm doing it again. So I would put the top on, shake it up. Okay, that's good. So you're dissolving the salt in the solution. There you go. Now we're going to put about a half a cup of Dr. Bronner's Sal Suds. This is a natural, non-toxic, totally safe soap for the environment and for people. There we go. Now I'm going to squirt lemon juice in. We're gonna make our own lemon juice. And pour your lemon juice in. The lemon juice is gonna add more cleaning power and germ fighting power to this recipe. It is good at scrubbing things, getting things off, helping to get stuck on particles off. Then I'm gonna add some essential oils. I think I'm gonna try Thieves today. I use Young Living essential oils. Thieves is a combination of rosemary, eucalyptus, clove, cinnamon, and one other oil that I've that has slipped my mind at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have a little bit of space. I mean, there's some suds. We have a little bit of space to maybe add about half a tablespoon of oil just to make it, <laughs> it's bubbling up. Um, but the oil is sinking down to the bottom, which is good. And you are done, that's it. Now I would give it a gentle swish. You don't want it to get too bubbly, so don't swish it too much. And as the water cools off, it will thicken up. At first, it will not seem like a thick soap, and you might be like, oh no, I did it wrong, but you didn't. It's gonna thicken up over time. Give it a couple hours, and even over the next couple days, it will thicken up even more and become really nice and thick. So thanks so much for hanging out with me and making a dishwashing soap with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Drop me a comment below if you have any questions or comments, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.